Let's say a few words about the second messenger system. To do so, let's consider a problem. We need to make glucose and fast. In fact, we need a lot of glucose right now. Now, we have an enzyme that can do that inside the cell, so to begin with, we need to review our understanding of enzymes. We can think of an enzyme as a molecular machine that can make something for us inside the cell. Now, enzymes can and do make many different things in the cell. Now, in this case, our enzyme makes glucose for us. The enzyme isn't going to do anything until it's switched on or activated, and the enzyme that we're looking at will be activated by cyclic AMP. In the diagram on top, we see our enzymes not doing anything because it hasn't been activated. In the diagram below, cyclic AMP has activated the enzyme, and now it's going to start making glucose for us. Okay, here it goes. Now notice that the enzyme doesn't just make one molecule of glucose and then stop. It continues to make glucose as long as it remains activated. Okay, so far so good. Activate the enzyme with cyclic AMP and it's going to make glucose. Now, let's look at the message sent to the cell. So, the message sent to the cell is going to be a hormone. And the hormone is going to bind to a receptor on the surface of the cell. Well, so far, we've got our message and it's come to the cell, but it only comes to the surface of the cell. The hormone can't go inside the cell where all the enzymes are, and I've drawn just a few boxes there for enzymes. The cell probably has thousands and thousands of enzymes. And we know that cyclic AMP will activate the enzyme and will turn it on, and so that's how we're going to get a lot of glucose. The question is, the first messenger... the hormone, is taken the message and brought it to the surface of the cell, but somehow we need to make a second messenger that will carry that message and activate the enzyme. Well, we already know uh, that the enzyme will be activated by cyclic AMP. So when the first messenger, the first messenger, remember, is the hormone, binds to the surface of the cell, binds to the receptor, it then makes cyclic AMP. And cyclic AMP floods the cell. It doesn't just make one molecule of cyclic AMP. It makes lots of molecules of cyclic AMP. And now the cyclic AMP activates the enzymes, and the enzymes start to make glucose. Not just one copy of uh, the glucose that we need, but many copies. And so let's see how that would look. Well, you get the idea. So the hormone binds to the receptor on the surface of, of the cell, and that makes, in this case, the second messenger, which is cyclic AMP, that's the second messenger. The cyclic AMP activates the enzyme, not just one copy of the enzyme, but it activates all the copies of the enzyme. The cell is flooded with the second messenger, cyclic AMP. And once the enzymes have been activated, they start making glucose. They don't just make one molecule of glucose each. They make lots and lots and lots of copies of the glucose molecule that we need. And so pretty soon, for one simple little hormone binding to uh, one receptor, on the cell surface, the first messenger, making many, many copies of cyclic AMP, the second messenger. The cyclic AMP activates the enzyme, and now all of a sudden we get a huge number of glucose molecules 
because of the second messenger system.